Sometimes people have problems. The kind they can't handle alone. That's where I come in. Sam Casey. Private Eye. I knew she was troubled the moment she walked into my office. I gave her the cold shoulder. But she had distinctive features. The kind you take notice of. Her name was Julia. And she was a good persuader. Before I knew it, I was on the job. As she talked, I pieced together the context of the problem. They had been fighting, it was true. But shortly after seeing the mediator today, she found him in the conservatory. He was dead, stabbed in the plexus. I had talked to everyone on the scene. Pam, the chef, Eli, the delivery trucker, and Celia, the music coach. They read like the usual scripts. Everyone with an alibi and a motive. The rules just didn't add up. They never do in problems like this. But I've worked a lot of cases in my time, and this one had a familiar smell. I went back to my files, my case library, and found what I was looking for. Two years ago, I'd cracked a similar case for my nearest neighbor, Cyrus, the design critic. The Cyrus case was a classic. An expediter called Jim had fixed a derby race, so the horse Swale edged out the favorite called Protos. There was a dispute over the joint winnings, with tragic and predictable results. Just like then, everyone here had opportunity, but only one had the shady cash connection, a certificate of deposit from, we'll say, Bank XX, because they wanted to be a non. One thing didn't add up, though. The murder weapon. In the previous Cyrus case, a medic gone bad, nicknamed Cyclops, had used a hypo to the heart. The wounds here were large and rough, though, like someone had improvised a sharp point. I looked back over the map of the crime scene and saw something that shifted our paradigm. I consulted Abe, an old CSI battle planner, and sure enough, the clavier piano was out of place. Inside, we found a broken dust mop handle, covered in the evidence of sweet justice. We took the evidence to the judge and got a warrant. Celia confessed. She was being cut off after a love affair went south. Celia was cleaning when he walked into the room. She snapped. So did the handle. And the rest is history. We closed an ironclad new case which I stored carefully in the library for the next time. The moral of the story? In the torrid affairs of the heart and greed, you could wind up easily shanked with a mop for your CD.